Hello everyone, I'm here with another LEGO Star Wars review, and this one is on the Tantip 4 set from 2009, which was part of the 10th anniversary line, but, in our, but now in honor of the 20th anniversary line, which is being released as of now. So on the front of the uh, booklets here, see LEGO Star Wars, that neat border from the earlier sets from 99 and 2000 through 2001. And see a picture of the ship in action. And also, and then set number 10198. And also, the little 10th anniversary plaque. Which, if it decides to focus. Whatever. On the back of the first booklet is just advertisement for some other 2009 sets, which are mostly clones, but a couple of 10th anniversary sets, which I have also previously reviewed. And on the, to the second booklet, see ad for Lego Club thing, and also win on the online survey, and then advertising all the features of it. And also the short listed mini figure. There's, there's four. And all the pieces that come with the set. In the last steps. And so now, on to the mini figures included with this. First of all, first ever appearance of Captain Anthony. Still using the simple dots' uh, eyes kind of faces. Is keeping it true with the earlier sets. But also using the like. Uh, rebel helmet pieces, which haven't seen since around uh, some sets in 2008. Yeah, so I guess reuse of that, which they haven't used in quite some time. So wish they could make use that again as of now, but let's see if they do. But very slight back printing, but no back head printing. And also looking at is a rebel trooper, but with different face print and different printing. But same helmet piece nonetheless, and not at all any back printing of any kind. And next up is Princess Leia, and the face print of which, which almost like the one of or in the Bala Endor set, but on this set of which does have the uh, uh, bagel bun hair. But also no back printing like all of these ones. It's been, yeah. And next up is C-3PO. In a more regular uh, gold color compared to like the uh, creamy gold color that they used in 2004 and 5 or so. But the headpiece, of which same as it's always been, and but also does have some back printing with all the same stuff as you usually expect for C3PO. And last but not least is R2D2. And he of which, as you can tell, is just about the same as these as it's been since about 2008 or so. So, continuing with that, so with the light gray head, which also used in the Clone Wars sets until later on, gave him the dark gray head. But other than that, 
the printing of which is done just about like every other one or any other R2D2. Okay, there we go. Because you have the prints all around. And there is from the top. And that is about it with our minifig selection. And now, on to the main set itself. Which is the Tentative 4. So this is which probably one of the first and only versions of the Tanta that there ever was. Well, other than with that Lord UCS version from 2001, but at the time of this recording, they might be redoing it in UCS form and might include Bail Organa. It was, is it true? Maybe. Uh, you'll just have... It, it might be true. Uh, not, it's not sh true yet at the time of this recording. But I think this is probably like the best version of it because it's proper minifig scale and got plenty of stuff to do with it. So like this front part area which has the cockpit pieces like the Millennium Falcon uses. And you can like, and also do have some nice printing to them with a like window view in there. But you can like open them up. And as you can see, a couple of little control panels and chairs for you to like oh, sit a couple of pilots into it, like so. And then just drive it on through. Going down the ship. I feel like there's like a couple of turrets above and also a few more around, so at least it's well armed. But you can like take it off. And then you see some more seating area to like fit a whole ton of other rebel troopers if you want. And also the sit Leia on. And also, what this set really needs is uh, the like printed tile piece that is of the uh, Death Star plans that Princess Leia gives to R2D2 in the scene. And, but also at the closing out scene of Rogue One, if you've seen that. It's, oh, also to show is this back part of it can also take off and get this like little gantry type thing that your minifigs can sit down on and ride around or just stand up on this area because of the uh, controls on there. It can fit down like so. And it is on. There we go. Also on the side so which you have some lever pieces acting as greebles, which of course is a common thing in Lego walking. So, and so much farther down, do you have to have that rectangular piece? Or satellite dish piece, like we saw on the uh, Force Awakens Millennium Falcon set, but it can like pivot side to side and all, and also swivel, and also got these two escape pod sets, so, of which were are kind of like a bit asymmetric. Like one is like all white, and one's like white with a slight like, gray tile. You can like rip them off, and also on underneath is that a three uh, piece from Classic Space, 
can like click the open and then got a nice little control panel piece there and enough space to fit your two joint minifigs into you know kind of a cram fit as you can see there is where at but at least it got better with the like uh, skate pod set from 2001 and also with the uh, uh, other escape pod sets from 2012 and 2016. Let me get this on. There we go. But as for the back engine area, as you can see, a lot of like multiples and all. But also each one like green like greebled, like similar greebling and all. But, whereas for the back of which has a lot of these. See like all are mostly white but a couple have dark red to them. But if look at the bottom, as you can see it does have that's a whole ton of slopings and also a couple of technic beams to keep the large engine areas in support of it. But also it's like and also a couple extra blaster areas which don't really shoot or anything. So like one up here and also a, this one here which acting as a couple of little stands there. I think that is it with this set. And now on to a, a fine, the final verdict. So this overall a pretty cool set for its day and age life. So this was worth a good lot back in then in 2009, but also a good one honoring the 10th anniversary of like a Star Wars and but also kind of lacking in new things like should have some more uh, rebel troopers and maybe Darth Vader since for the opening scene of A New Hope that is. And also what should have the title for the uh, Death Star plans which is of course a part in the scene and yeah. If you still have access to this set then I'd say truly go ahead and get it. Like for the sake of getting it if you don't if you haven't already. Or at least wait for the UCS version if they uh, if it gets true or whatever. And now on to another good final verdict. So here is all of the uh, Lego Star Wars 10th anniversary sets of 2009 all right here. So starting out from right to left. We got, of course, Tanted IV, uh, Battle of Endor, Darth Vader TIE Fighter, Echo Base, and Home One Calamari Star Cruiser, like all truly together. So at least it, these of which have given an anniversary, of which, which LEGO kind of sometimes does, sometimes with like, uh, like they once did with the uh, 50th anniversary of the Lego brick, and also and also what they recently did with the uh, 40th anniversary of the minifigure, and yeah. But also, and now let's wait and see what the how the 20th anniversary Star Wars sets will do uh, pretty soon. But at least we got plenty of interesting stuff back from the original trilogy. But it would have been nice if they also did some uh, episode 1 set for the 10th anniversary since they were also common in 1999. But at least these were good enough for the time and yeah. And that is it with these videos. And hope you enjoyed all these as much as well as I did. And that is it. And please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, hope you had plenty of fun with these. 
if you had these already, if you still have access to them, I hope you get the chance to get them. And see you around with the 20th anniversary sets. If not, hope you're enjoying those reviews and enjoying them. And yeah, and that is about it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.